and they have a fish in New Zealand called the spotted demoiselle. It's a beautiful fish. They can be quite iridescent blue. A small fish. And they lay their eggs on rocks. Find a flat surfaced rock in the water. They lay their eggs, female legs, the eggs, and she takes off. Leaving the male to guard the eggs. And if you go snorkeling this time of year, even though it's a very small fish, it will swim up to you and challenge you if you get close to his eggs. And he swims up and challenges you, then he swims back. letting you know those are his eggs. I've seen a documentary on them. And even though the male is so protective of his eggs, all the other fish they see food. And this one spotted demoiselle in the documentary, he was spent his whole time chasing away all the fish. but he'd chase one fish away and then another fish would be right there to eat the eggs. Three other fishes would be there and he'd chase them away and then there would be five fish. As he's chasing them away, five fish take advantage of the unprotected eggs and have a feast until he comes back. Until eventually all his eggs were eaten All his eggs were eaten. And he had nothing left to protect. And so he swam away. There's a realization that occurs a truth that nothing is yours in this life. Everything will eventually be taken away from you. Even your body will be taken away from you. Your loved ones in some form or other will be taken away from you. And this seems a great suffering.
Why would reality be set up? And that everything gets taken away from you. Because when you surrender to that realization, when you surrender to the fact that nothing is truly yours, especially the things you hold on to the most. I'm not talking about a mental understanding. I'm not talking philosophy, but the re inner realization that nothing is yours. Even this idea of yourself is not yours. Your thoughts are not yours. Your stories are not yours. And there is nothing that you can hold on to. In this surrender, in this realization of the impermanence of everything, that there is nothing you can hold on to, and then your perception can open to a deeper level of reality. You see nothing is yours. Even this I is not yours. This body, this personality is not yours. There's a level of consciousness underneath, a level of perception that is eternally free. That who you are is eternally free. And you get it? If nothing is yours, you are free. Now we get to the absence of everything. Not really the absence of everything, but the absence of all attachment. including attachment to this I. If this I is not yours, if this body is not yours, if these thoughts are not yours, if these feelings are not yours, you can get to the level of perfect freedom, of transcendence, where everything is one infinite supreme joy, supreme love, supreme peace, supreme consciousness, who is eternally free, unbound, infinite.
This is not a cold-hearted detachment. but a surrender. Even your mind is not yours. It is an inner renunciation. The acceptance, the truth, that there is nothing to hold on to. The suffering of the demoiselle fighting to save his eggs and losing all of them. It is not about just sitting and not doing anything, not serving the world. It's the recognition of freedom, of surrender, of inner renunciation. Mm. To get to samadhi, it's neti, neti, neti. Not this, not this, not this, not this. We're letting go of everything, including ourselves, including our knowledge, including our problems, our suffering. And there is the recognition of the infinite, the recognition of one supreme peace, one supreme joy. The recognition of infinite happiness. And so, this is what I wanted to share with you. I hope you got something good out of this video. If you did, please feel free to leave a comment. May you be blessed and her supreme, infinite joy, infinite bliss. Om Shri Guruve Namah. Much love to you. Much love.